Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can use this XY GMOS MOSFET motor controller and switch using a push button and potentiometer. So we can turn it on. And we can stop it or start it the MOSFET and gets out so these two terminals are out where this module can handle is 10 ampere for load or motor if a this is 0.4 ampere back dc to d and 53 degrees celsius you can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash arduino let's get started with this This module XYGMOS is a switch where you can turn it on and off with high or low signal. In both cases, it can be turned on and off because it has three terminals here. And also it can be used as a motor speed controller where you can feed in a pulse width modulation signal here to control speed of the motor. This is sold on AliExpress and eBay. Here, this is a page where it shows $2.33 plus $6.22 the shipping and here's the specification for this module the motor or load voltage can be between 40 to 60 volts and the maximum current that this module can handle is 10 ampere for load or motor and for the high voltage trigger it can be triggered with a 3 to 24 volts and when you connect it with a low trigger, it can be triggered with 0 to 0 0.6 volts. And the pulse width modulation frequency can be up to 2.5 kilohertz. And here are the main components for this module. We have AOD2810, 45 ampere MOSFET. These two pieces, we have two of those. The second component is this one. XL5005A, this is 0.4 ampere back DC to DC converter. This is used to facilitate for different voltages that arrive here so it can accept wide input voltage. And this is the MT3608, this chip, this is a step up converter. This is uh, providing enough voltage for triggering the gate of these module, these two MOSFETs. And EL817, these are two optocouplers that uh, isolates the circuit using these two optocouplers. And then, and then we have SS34, uh, this is a short key barrier rectifier. And then we have these two SS 110 shot key rectifier. Length of the module is 46.4 millimeters by 29.3 millimeters by 14.4 millimeters. These two wires here, these two have been connected to my power supply. This is negative and this is the positive. And the positive comes here and exits from this pin. So this goes, this is the positive for the motor and this is the negative. This is the pulse modulation or high trigger input and this is ground. I've connected black wire to the ground of Arduino and then this left side, the high trigger is connected to pin three. And the push button, once one wire is connected to ground, the other wire is connected to pin 2. And for the potentiometer, the right pin is connected to 5 volts. The left pin on this side is connected to the ground. And the middle pin is connected to analog 0. Now let me explain the code. 
we are defining pot pen analog zero you can select any other analog pen if you are using potentiometer if you are using the switch you don't need to define here anything motor out pen is a pen that is sending signal to arduino and make sure to select a pen that has this tilde you see three is pulse width modulation four is not two is not so five six and seven is not eight is not and twelve and thirteen are not so three five six nine ten eleven are pulse width modulation enabled pen where you can send the signal so define a pulse width modulation enabled pen and then start the stop pen is a push button to stop it speed maximum and speed minimum are the two value for the motor uh, in some applications you don't want the motor to go to 100% this is in terms of percent 0 means stop, 100 means maximum speed in terms of percent so you can set the minimum and maximum for your motor so the motor cannot go above that value and this minimum is also a very critical value in some motors in terms of percent 1, 10, 5 or even 15 and 20 will not make a motor run because the signal will not uh, um, have enough power. So you can find out with the motor that you're running and test it and see what value makes your motor run. So you just make it a little below, for example, if your motor starts running at 20 or 22, so put here 18 or 15. So as soon as you reach 15, it means uh, uh, stop. And then we are defining two variables, stop and run and motor state is a variable that is holding the state of motor either running or stopping and this is also initial state if you put here run the motor will run if you put stop the motor will stop when you start uh, the Arduino motor speed is also the variable that is holding so if you set this to run and set this to 100 the motor will run at 100 but if you set it to 0 and run is here the motor will not run because you put the speed so initial speed and state both will work together. Push button is a function. This is a prototype of a function that is at the bottom of the code. I'm going to explain it next. Inside the setup, we initialize the serial monitor, print this text, define this start uh, stop pen using pen mode with as input with pull up feature. So we don't need to use push uh, resistor with push button and then motor out pen this is a defining the motor output pen pen 3 in this example as an output inside the loop you we check the push button state using this function which i'm going to explain it so this updates this variable motor state variable either as run or stop every time you press a push button and then we use analog read pot n this is a pen analog zero we read the pen Whatever the value it is, we are storing it in a variable called pot, and then we convert it to speed in terms of percent. We use map, get this value here, which is from 0 to 1023. This is the 10-bit, which means 2 to the power 10, which is 1024, minus 1. So it, was, it will be maximum of 1023. So we map it to between 0 and 100. What it means is if the value is 0 it will be 0, if the value is 1023 it will be 100 and th the other values are in between. So the result of this calculation will be stored in this variable called speed, uh, per speed percent. This is just printing the value. If you don't want it just comment this like that so it will not be printed and then we check the state of motor if it is equal equal run this is two equal sign then we say motor control motor control speed percent so the value that is here we will pass it else there is a function motor stop motor will stop the motor and we have 500 milliseconds and the function will continuously take action before I, I explain this function you have to know that if you don't want to use potentiometer you can use this Let's say you delete this and then use it like that and put here some value. If you put 50, the motor will run at 50. If you put 89, the motor will be at 89% and based on some other feature, you can uh, control the motor like this. Now, motor control is a value that you send here 5, 5, 10 or 50. 
percent and using map that is that arrives here we put it here and we say if it is from minimum between minimum and maximum that you set at the top map it between 0 and 255 and the result of this calculation will be stored in this S and then this is just printing it but this line analog motor out pin and we send the value whatever it is between 0 to 255 to Arduino function to send the signal to pin 3 to control the motor stop motor is exactly the same except here in this line we set 0 but here we send S whatever is the calculated value push button is a function we use digital read start the stop pin so we say check that, that pin if it is equal equal which means compare it to the value of low low means when you press the push button then if it is true then we get the stop uh, state of the motor and we toggle it or reverse it what it means is if this was equal one or run what it means is get run and invert it this means not of one if it is one it makes it zero so now zero will be stored here next time if it is zero when you not it then it will be one one will be stored so this is just toggling we give it also 100 milliseconds so the person pushes the push button gives it a little time and that's the full explanation of the code. And now let me demonstrate it. It's powered up. I'm using this motor for demonstration. And this is the model in case if you're interested. It is 12 volts DC motor. And now the serial monitor shows that the setting or the potentiometer is at 29% and it is stopped. So if I press this, now let's change it. So this percent is 100% but the value that goes based on Arduino from 0 to 255 it will also be shown here let me turn it on again so 100% is 255 and 0 is 0 as you can see Actually the voltage was 6 volts, now I increase it to 11.7, let me make it. Now the voltage was 6 volts, now I changed it to 12 volts. And this LED will turn on when the motor is being controlled. Now this was the pulse modulation feature. Now let's try it as pulse modulation or as a uh, just a switch to see how much current it can handle, with, handle without heating up too much. And now here is the demonstration. This is my power supply connected to these two wires these two wires are, are connected to my electronic load the two terminal here the positive and negative and we will read the voltage here and the current here let me turn it on now it is turned on I currently it shows 3 ampere I set the current at maximum 5 let me go with 100% duty cycle so I'm leaving this not touching it because I'm using this as a switch 
and currently 5 ampere is being drawn and it's very cool let's go 6 ampere I just change this to 6 running with 6 ampere high trigger at the moment 7 very cool currently it shows to be 38 degrees that's the hot spot and the current is 7 amp let me increase it to 8 I just increased it to 8 so you can see it the current is 8 ampere the temperature is 37 36 degrees by the way some of you might ask this is the camera that is attached to this thermal seek camera for for Apple and Android 39 degrees I can select I increase the current to 9 amp here let me take a picture let's go with 10 ampere now the maximum current is 10 ampere let's check the temperature 42 degrees at the moment 44 degrees Celsius now I have disconnected the signal from the ground I'm going to connect it to this pen this is a low trigger and as you can see we are reading 12 volts that is with the low trigger you can bring ground and zero volts from your other source to this point to turn this on I just made a simple zero volt here it's still very cool image 51 degrees still very cool comparing it with 12 ampere let's go 13 and 53 degrees Celsius 54 that's the hottest spot on the screen 55 the temperature is slowly increasing and now 57 degrees 58 it is increasing slowly because I am at 13 ampere let's go down back so now I'm at 10 ampere reduce the and the temperature is dropped from 57 now it's 55 54 slowly decreasing this is amazing now I increase the voltage 30 volts 10 ampere now all the current is passing through this but the amount of current is 10 ampere that's very important still it is very cool amazing now for conclusion this is the best module that you can get with both high and low level trigger 
and the rated current of 10 is easily acceptable it can handle even 20 or 30 ampere if you put because each MOSFET can handle up to 45 ampere if you put proper heat sink because the heat sink is supposed to be at the bottom now we don't have that so you might go with 15 ampere if you put some heat sink at the top otherwise if if this is modified fully and you can put proper heat sink it can handle it maybe up to 90 ampere 45 45 uh, but with 10 ampere it works very easily with any load that you throw with this either inductive load or just a regular DC uh, resistive load. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this um, MOSFET XY GMOS motor or switch controller using Arduino. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe. This module XYGMOS uh, is sold on AliExpress.